What's up, y'all? It's your girl, V. Lee, checking in with Bag Talk Films. And y'all know what it is. We finna get to it. All right, I got my girl, V. Lee, in here with me tonight. How you feeling tonight? I'm feeling good. I won't complain. Besides this coronavirus stuff that's going on, I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, we were just finna get into that. So, how you feel about ATL opening back up? Um, I can't really, I, I don't really feel no type of way because... I mean, people gonna do what they wanna do regardless. So, if you wanna go outside, go outside. If you wanna stay in, stay in. It's just like, let people do what they wanna do. It's free will, you do what you wanna do. Real shit, real shit. So, would you say quarantine been affecting your lifestyle? Not really, cause I still been working. So, I gotta get to, I gotta get to the money. I can't be broke and homeless, so. Yeah. I ain't really been affected, not me. Okay, okay. So, do you know anyone that caught it though? Caught Corona? I don't know nobody that caught it personally, but I did hear, like, my supervisor said that one of her people got it, and they actually died, so. Ooh. When I heard that, I was, that kind of made me want to stay in the house, like, but, I mean, if you, it's your time to go, it's your time to go. It don't matter what, what happened. Okay, okay, so would you say you've been moving different since this whole pandemic? No, nah, not really, like, I don't, I don't wear no masks. I just feel like with the whole mask thing, I feel like it's trapping in bacteria, so it's like really pointless because you just breathing in the same air. So, nah, I just been me too. <laughs> <laughs> facts, facts. So, you do you think? I know you've been hearing probably heard about the five G tiles. Folks think it's that. Do you think it's a five G tiles? Folks talking about? Or you really think Corona is here? Yeah, nah. Uh, what? I don't know, like. Five G towers. Uh, I've been hearing a little conspiracy theories. Yeah. I don't. I don't, I really can't say. I don't know. But I do think Corona is real. Like that's real. Okay. Okay. If it wasn't Corona, it probably would have been something else. Just like the flu, influenza, all that stuff. Like took people out. Yeah, but they saying it's like the flu, but folks weren't really dying from the flu like that. How they is from Corona, they say. But I mean, if you think about all the people that catch pneumonia and then die from pneumonia, so it's almost like the same type of thing. Yeah. True. True. Uh, so how old are you? Oh Lord, you don't supposed to ask a woman her age. You so know. rude. I know, but it's the interview they gotta know. I'm, I'm 17. Seventeen. Like. <laughs> you saying my age? Nah, I'm 26. 26. Yes. It's not bad. That's not bad. You look young. I will be. Uh, what you trying to say? Twenty six? Oh no! No! I don't no. Say it's old. I don't want to say it's old, but you look younger than twenty six. I should say that. Oh, thank you. I'll be twenty seven on my birthday. Birthday June twenty four. Cancer. Okay. Okay. You, you got anything planned for it? Yeah. Uh, uh, I wanted to go out of the country, but uh, I ain't going out of the country, and then can't get back in. So no. Real shit. Real shit. So, you graduated. Yes, graduated from college. Oh, from college. So you got a um, diploma and a degree. Yep. Okay. My um, degree is in political science. That's good. That's good. So what school did you graduate from? What high school you graduated from first? So it's a little small, small, small high school. It's in King, it's, uh, in King Street, South Carolina. So like, you probably don't even know what that is. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I don't <laughs> you heard know. of Charleston? Charleston? Nah, I ain't heard of that. Columbia? Like schools that out no, 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 like cities. Cities? Oh, yeah, I heard of Columbia. I heard in of Columbia. Okay, so it's like an hour and a half from Columbia and like an hour and a half from Charleston and like an hour from Myrtle Beach. Okay, okay. So, how was high school for you? You know, everybody go through different shit in high school. Ooh. Mm. High school, child, it was rough. I was, I had a real bad symptom. So, yeah. I got put out. My sophomore year of high school, cause I brought a blade to school. Ooh, why you do that? <sighs> Just being dumb. I would tell anybody like that's why I had to set an example from my younger siblings and yeah. let them know like that one mistake that's gonna follow you. It'll follow you for the rest of your life. But other than that, I was I wouldn't say I was like popular, 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 but I was. But, you you say like you a popular loner type shit? I wasn't no like I mixed with everybody. So yeah. like everybody knew like Vana her, like I'm just I don't know. <laughs> I don't wanna say I was the it girl, no, I wasn't that, but I was well known. Yeah, I feel that, I feel that. So so you from South Carolina? 
I'm actually from North Carolina and South Carolina. So born in Charlotte, my mom moved to South Carolina and then my dad was still in North Carolina, so I was back and forth. Okay, okay. So yeah. So in high school you was in South Carolina. South Carolina. Okay, okay. So what yeah. was it like growing up there? Oh, country. Country. Very, very country. Everybody know everybody business, everybody cousins, like it's just ooh. Just drama. Facts, facts. You ain't got nothing else to do. We had like, you could probably count the stoplights. Yes. yes, everything closed at 10 o'clock. You ain't ate before you went in the house. Oh well, you gonna stall to the next day. <laughs> ain't nothing to eat. <laughs> Damn, that's fucked up. That's yeah, it is. Up. Yeah, so what would you say you was mostly surrounded by growing up over there? What you mean? Like, you know, some folks was surrounded by drug dealers. Killers and shit, or you got some folks that is surrounded by very happy people. Yeah. Um, so I would say we, we were very happy people, but at the same time, when you get a whole bunch of people, like it's not the town not big enough, so like people cause drama because they don't got nothing else to do. So it was a whole bunch of fighting going on for no reason. Everybody want to be in a game, killing yeah. each other. It was just. Mm. Fact, so would you think like did you ever step into that or you always stayed away from that? Um I try to stay away from it, but I will say when you when you go to school and that's all you see, so it's like, okay, hmm, do I wanna do that? So I of course I thought about it but like nah, I ain't never joined no gang or nothing like that. Okay, okay. So so you said your parents were separated, right? Yep. At what age did they separate? At what? At how old were you when they separated? Mm, I had to be probably like six, seven. Okay, okay. Do you know the reason behind their separation? Um, I I don't know a specific reason. I try not to ask because I don't wanna. I didn't wanna feel no type of way about my mom or feel no way type of way about my daddy. So I just said they just they had differences. They just grew up. Okay, I feel that. I feel that. So, who house were you mostly at growing up? My mom. Your mom. So, what was it like growing up in that household? Oh, um, so my mom had me remarried, and at first it was kind of hard to get used to because it's like, Chad, don't be coming in this house trying to tell me what to do. You ain't my daddy. So, mm -hmm. like, yeah. <laughs> okay. it took, so that took a lot of getting used to, and then he was, uh, he was he made sure you had discipline so it took a lot of getting used to I, I would say i was kind of rebellious at first but in the in the long run you learn to appreciate that type of stuff so we were very close and that kind of his structure and my mom's structure like it it flowed into my siblings so like okay, my okay. we used to parents together marry so that's how it is with my my sister married my brother married i'm the only one that ain't married um. and i'm the oldest it's crazy, that's crazy. It is crazy. So would you say you've been looking for a marriage lately? Um, uh, I try to look for love. Let love find me. Yeah, that's how that's how it's gonna stick. You gotta let it come to you. Mm-hmm. When you go looking, that's when stuff get messed up. Alright, so did you get a scholarship to college? I did actually. Um it wasn't a full scholarship. It would have been a full scholarship, but I think my SAT scores they wanted like a fifteen something, and I had like a fourteen ninety two. So. Okay. Okay. So, were you were you gambling between which colleges you were gonna choose, or you always or you always had that one that you knew you was gonna go to? So the one the college that I wanted to go to was with them cook me, and it's in um Florida. But my mom and I was like, oh, that's too far. So of course I didn't go. But um I did choose coastal because it was at the beach, um tourists, and so it was like it was fun. It wasn't my Choice, my like my top choice, but yeah. I ended up growing into it. Yeah. Okay, so you enjoyed your life in college. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what did you major in in college? Political science. Political science. So my main thing was, I graduated a semester early because I was like I can't do this. But then, like my main goal was supposed to be going to law school. I slacked off on it. but yeah. That's still a goal. For sure, for sure. All uh, right. So when did the Instagram skits start coming in? What made you want to start doing Instagram skits? Well, um, so I started doing skits in, I think, October of 2018. And the first person I did a skit with was Reggie. 
Reggie, Reggie yes. baby. Yeah, <laughs> I did interview that for him and um Lil Nick. You know Lil Nick. Lil Nick. Yeah, yeah. that was the that was the, uh, two first people I did to skit with. That went crazy. Um, but my main thing is I want. I always knew I like. Well, I ain't gonna say I always knew, but like as I graduated and I started seeing like looking at a whole bunch of films and stuff and really studying this stuff, I was like, I can be. I can. I can, can do, do this. this. So yeah. yeah. So how did you even like get with Reggie and them? Cause them some big Instagram influencers for your first time. So um, you know Zero? Zero? No, I don't know Zero. Uh, so he got the green hair, like look like Goku. Okay, no, no, you don't know. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so he had um, I don't even know how me and him have started following each other, but he had posted like uh, um, it was like he was like I'm doing a video shoot or whatever. So I was like, okay, I do. Like let me reach out to him. Yeah. And so when I got to the video shoot. Um, Reggie was there and they was actually doing a skit in the beginning to where it was like um, a little boy was snatching some lemonade and running off with the lemonade so and that's the actual name of the song Lemonade. Okay, okay, okay. So what was your ultimate goal when you started doing Instagram skits? To network with as much people as I can and to put out as much content as I can so people can see what I can do from all aspects. Okay, okay. So the Instagram skits, you want the Instagram skits to lead into like Folks hitting you up for major movie roles? Yes, that's the main goal. Facts, facts, so. TV shows, all that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the goal right there. So, what, so you didn't see yourself acting before you started acting, right? No. So you saw yourself being a lawyer? That was, yeah, that was the main goal. And okay. then, um, so I got my cosmetology license when I was in high school. So I was going here for a very long time. And so those were my main goals was to be a lawyer. And only a hair salon. Okay, okay, so you got a lot of hustle, so what would you think what would you think what would you put first? Um it used to be doing hair, but I get burnt out with doing hair, so like my main thing now is acting. That's that's really what I wanna do is act. Okay, okay. So how do you come up with ideas for your videos? Take real life situations and just make it flow. I like whether it. it's funny or whether we being serious, but like a lot of real life stuff turns into skits. Yeah, I heard I heard that a lot. I hear that a lot though when I mm -hmm. ask that question. Like you could just be it could be something random. Like I can walk out here and fall down the steps and be like, Oh shoot, I can make that a skit. <laughs> real shit, mm -hmm. real shit. So do you try to reach out to other people that do what you do? Um, I used to and then it's like, Okay, well, I'm reaching out and y'all ain't hit me up so and I'm not finna be chasing nobody behind those kids now. So I like the main people that I, I mean the people that I used to work with that I'm still cool with. Yeah, we hit each other up. Okay, okay. So, so do you have any celebrities that you met in person that really wasn't what you expected them to be? Um, no, because you can't really put expectations on celebrities because you got to realize that they they human and they yep. they go through their days or whatever so i really try not to put expectations or put them on a pedestal because i don't want to be like dang hold on now and then look at them different so yeah real shit real shit so do you have any other like instagram influence skits that you be like oh this shit funny like you really fuck with them um i look at a lot of uh desi bank um videos oh, yeah. and um. Mm, this right here. I look at a lot of different people though, so I can't really. I ain't gonna really say I look at specific people because everybody got different content. So it's just I be like, oh, just let me go and just you go on one page and then they take you to another page and the next thing you know, two hours later, you don't went through sixty pages. Yeah, yeah, real so. shit. So do you have any any folks that? You haven't collabed with yet that you would like to collab with on the skit? Um, I don't work with a lot of people. Um, I ain't gonna say nobody specific. Like, if you grinding and you got your business, then you fuck with yeah. them. Yeah, that's real. I fuck with that. I fuck with that. So, has anyone like ever hit you up like trying to do a little skit, but was really on some other shit, like on some weird shit, trying to fuck with you on some Ooh. shit? <laughs> Put me up on game. Nah, cause I had to like real talk. I blocked a couple of people. I don't want to name drop, but like, yeah. I I had to start telling people up front. Listen, 
if you hit me up to do a skit, I'm gonna let you know right now. I don't do no explicit content, and we ain't finna, we not finna act like we having sex. We not doing none of that because that's not what I'm about. So when you tell people that, and then you get there, and they be like, okay, and then you get there, and they still be on the same stuff that I just told you I'm not finna do. Oh, we got a problem, and I'm about to just block you. Like people be weird, weird as hell. And a lot of these, a lot of these dudes, they be using these skits to kill up on girls, yep, like, yep. and they just be going with it. Nah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that comes the entertainment business. You're going to run into a lot of people like that. Yeah, but you just got to stand your ground. And if you got your business, then you ain't going to even let that ride. So. Facts, facts. So how would you react to a situation like that? Like, if I was to get to somebody's house and they on the bull crap, oh, I'm going to leave. I'm leaving and I'm blocking and deleting you because you weird as fuck. <laughs> weird as fuck. And I, I got one person I'm looking at in my head right now like, nigga, you weird as fuck. Hey, hey. But I ain't going to say nothing. You don't want to see that name, you nah, sure? I ain't going to say no name. Hey, hey. Uh, so what type of men are you attracted to, though? Um, I, was, I would say I'm open to anything, but, like, you got to be respectful. Of course, you got to... Be appealing, mm -hmm. but I done dated some ugly dudes, so I ain't gonna say that. Um, <laughs> you gotta be family oriented, and then you gotta be about your bread. So, for sure, that's facts. So, what turns you off? Short attention spans and um, niggas that ain't got no home training. Like, what would you say, like, home training? Like, what you mean by home training? Reckless at the mouth, yeah. um, can't, can't respect time. Um, just doing a whole bunch of stuff that, mm -mm, that I ain't used to. Facts, facts. So why did your last relationship end if you feel comfortable speaking on it? Ooh. <laughs> um, I would say I was more into the relationship than he was. He, I feel like he was, it was just something for him to do. And yeah. I was really putting my time and effort into it. So it was like, okay, I'm looking at this at the long run, but you're looking at this for right now. And so once I peaked that, then... You weren't having yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. You got to be all in with V. All in or all the way out. Okay. Okay. So I know you be getting a lot of out-of-pocket DMs. Talk to me about that. Man, you talking about niggas is weak. Like, people is really real life crazy. I done had niggas DM me talking about let me suck your toes. I pay for you to send me pictures. Like the weirdest shit to me is when people try to video chat you on Instagram. Ooh. My nigga, I don't know you. Why are you video chatting me? Like I'm not finna answer. Is you crazy? No. Mm -mm. Real talk, real talk. So who would you think the craziest shit somebody ever DM'd you? Who would you say? Um. Nah, some weird shit just been happening to me like the past two weeks. Somebody actually DM'd me something that was in my personal phone. So it was like, after that, I had to like go get a whole new phone. Like that shit Oh yeah, that's weird. why you said you changed your number. That shit was weird. I was like, bro, that's in my phone. Like what the hell? Ooh. Yo, these hackers for real. Yeah, that's what happened when like you start getting a fan base though. I know, but it's like, don't try to come ruin me. I ain't do nothing to nobody. <laughs> nobody. Vex, vex. All right, so what do you like most about acting? Though? Um, basically seeing what's my potential. Because, like, if I get a role and it's completely opposite of my own personality, then it gives me, like, a challenge. So I think I like the challenge about it. Challenging me to be the best person I can be or do this role to the best of my ability, so. Vex, vex. So do you enjoy sometimes, like, Really being a whole different, another person? Yes. Because it's like, dang, I didn't even know I could do that. But <laughs> <laughs> you just got to take yourself and just place it in and be like, yo, I got to act like this, I got to do that, and then just do it. No cap, no cap. So which one of your which one of your videos were you most excited to make? Like, you was like, oh, I'm ready to do this one, I'm ready to do this one. Um, dang, that's hard. I can't even say. That's hard. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let me give you an easy one. What What was your favorite video you worked on on 20, in 2020 so far? Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to visually go down my page in my head. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. So like me and you know Chinese man. Yeah. Me and him had this skit. Uh. 
and it was like he had bought me this trap house or something. Yo, people went ham in the comments. Like, I didn't even, we knew the video was going to take off, but it was like, bro, them, they was eating my ass up. They thought, like, I really had, like, he and I done got me a trap house, and I was just cursing him out. They was calling me all kind of ungrateful bitches and everything. <laughs> I was, that was just so funny to me. I was like, damn, these people serious. But it te it'll teach them comments to teach you a lot. Like, bro, you can't even pay. You can't even pay that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got man. You make your money, man. Fuck them folks. Mm -hmm. Real talk. But yeah, that one was that one was pretty dope. Okay, okay. So, have you got hit up for any movie roles yet? I can't, well, yeah, I have, but I can't speak on them. <laughs> yeah, you can't speak on them. I know that shit go. I know that shit go. All right, so what's your idea of movie role? Um, something that's very dramatic and emotional. Yeah. Because I want to be able to bring out, like, the very dramatic side of me and then show people, like, I want to be, like, talking right now and in the next two seconds I'll just be boo-boo crying. Like, people are like, damn, yo, that shit... Like, catch your attention here. Yeah. Have you learned how to, like, really cry on your own? Like, automatically? Yes. Do it, for your wife, do it for me right now? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta, like, you gotta just take yourself to a place. You gotta think about some sh some traumatic shit that happened in your life. And you just you gotta sit there and just be focused. Like, damn, this shit really happened to me. Next thing you know, you be. That shit sound hard, bro. <laughs> I don't know how somebody can make themselves cry like that. It's, it's almost kind of psycho, but uh, <laughs> I ain't no psycho, though. So. <laughs> vex, vex. So what, you got a, a role in the movie that you wouldn't play? Mm, uh, I think I would have to think twice about a scary movie. Cause even though I know I know shit fake, like I'd probably be in there scared of them. <laughs> like terrified. Vex, vex. So what's your goals for 2020? I know you got some. Well, my main goal, my first goal is to um, open up another salon suite, uh, get picked for a big role, like a big movie role, and to hit my first meal. Real shit, that's everybody goal right there. Yeah. Gotta touch a million. So what advice you got for people trying to make it on social media? Um, Stay true to yourself. Um, Don't tell nobody, I mean, don't let nobody tell you what you should do with your page or how you should market. You can always, of course, take everybody's advice into consideration, but stay true to yourself and make goals, make goals, and then just post content and brand yourself. Just make it, it don't matter whether you post 20 times a day, somebody gonna see it. So even if you ain't getting no likes, you still gotta post. It don't, it don't, it don't even matter about views no more. Just put out content really and just don't. let people just come. So I just finished chopping it up. Y'all go check it out. Bag Talk Films. You know what it is. <laughs>